Buenos dias, amigos. Hi, everybody. My name is Sheridan. I work for the Long Beach Public Library, and I'm here today to tell you a story. This story is a Cuban folktale about a little rooster who's kind of bossy, and about how he learns to say please and thank you. Okay? So this is our rooster. His name is Gallito, which means rooster in Spanish. Gallito was really, really excited because he was going to go to the wedding of his tío, Perico, his uncle Perry. He had gotten all dressed up for the occasion. You can even see that he put on his favorite little black bow tie. It was a black tie affair. And he puts on his bow tie, and he's ready to go to the wedding, and he walks through the forest. So he's walking through the forest, and he starts getting kind of hungry, but he's being very careful to not step on any, you know, dirt or rocks or anything that can get him dirty because he wants to go to the wedding of his tío Perico and he's got to look his best. But in the middle of the forest, after walking for quite a while, he comes upon, he finds a puddle of, a puddle of mud. And not the band, an actual puddle of mud. And in the middle of that puddle of mud, he spots his favorite snack. Can you guys guess what it is? Mm-hmm. Yep. He saw a grain of corn. Un granito de maíz. So the maíz is right in the middle of that puddle of mud, and he's really, really hungry, but he's scared that if he eats the maíz, he's going to get dirty. So he thinks, if I don't peck, I'll lose out on this delicious corn flake. But if I peck, I'll dirty the beak that's attached to my head, that's attached to my neck, and my elegant outfit I'll surely wreck. What do I do? To peck or not to peck? What do you guys think he did? You're totally right. I knew you would know. He pecked. He ate that grain of maize. It was delicious, by the way. And he got his beak, his beak wool, all dirty. And now he was really, really worried because how could you go to the wedding of your Theo Perico with a dirty pico. You just can't. Nobody does stuff like that. So he walked through the forest. He kept on walking to see if he could find a friend who could help him out with his problem to clean his pico. And he found his friend Yerba. Yerba is a clump of grass. And he said to Yerba, Yerba, clean my pico so that I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. Did he say please? Did he say por favor? Mm -mm. So Yerba said, no, I will not clean your pico so you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. And Gallito was like, we'll see about that. So he kept on walking and he found his friend Chivo. Chivo is a goat. And he said, Chivo, eat Yerba because Yerba won't clean my pico so that I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. But once again, he didn't say por favor. So Chivo said, no, mm -mm. I will not eat Yerba because Yerba won't clean your pico so you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. Gallito kept on walking and he found another friend. He found Palo. A Palo is a stick. And he said to Palo, Palo, beat Chivo because they won't eat yerba, because yerba won't clean my pico so that I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. Did he say por favor? Mm -mm. So Palo said, no, I will not beat Chivo because Chivo won't eat yerba, because yerba won't clean your pico so that you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. At this point, Gallito was getting a little frustrated. He was having some emotions, you know? And so he found his friend, Fuego. And he told Fuego, fire. Fuego, burn Palo. Because Palo won't beat Chivo, because Chivo won't eat yerba, because yerba won't clean my pico, so that I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. But he forgot to say, please. He forgot to say, por favor. So Fire Fuego said, no, I will not burn Palo, 
because palo won't beat chivo, because chivo won't eat hierba, because hierba won't clean your pico, so that you can go to the wedding of your tío, Perico. Gallito was getting really, really angry at this point. And he thought, hmm, maybe my friend Agua will help me out with this. So he went to find his friend Agua, water, and he said, Agua, douse fire, douse fuego. To douse means to put out. Like when you throw water on a fire and it goes pssst, and then there's no more fire. That's to douse, dousing something. So he had asked Agua to douse fuego because fuego won't burn palo because palo won't beat chivo because chivo won't eat hierba because hierba won't clean my pico so that I can just finally get to the wedding of my tío Perico. At this point, he was probably super late. And Agua didn't hear any kind of please or por favor or hey, could you do me a favor? So Agua, Agua said, no, no, I will not douse fuego who will not burn palo because they won't beat chivo because chivo won't eat hierba because hierba won't clean your pico so that you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. And at this point, Gallito was thinking, maybe I need to try another strategy. You know, maybe I need to go about this in a different way. So he talked to his friend, El Sol, the sun. And he said, Sol, please, por favor, pretty, pretty, please, with a cherry on top and a side of chips. Can you dry up agua? Because agua won't douse fuego because fuego won't burn palo, because palo won't beat chivo, because chivo won't eat hierba, because hierba won't clean my pico so that I can go to the wedding of my tío Perico. And Sol, because Gallito said please, and por favor, was like, yeah, I'll do it. Agua heard this. Agua didn't want to be dried up, so Agua said, I'm sorry, Gallito. I will douse fire. No problem. Fuego heard this. And Fuego went, uh, I don't want to be put out. So Fuego said, Gallito, I'm so sorry. I will burn Palo. Definitely. Palo didn't want to be burned. So Palo said, there's no need for that. I'll, I'll beat Chivo. No problem. I'll go do it right now. Chivo heard this and he didn't want to get hit with the Palo. So Chivo said, I'm sorry, Gallito. I'll eat hierba. No problem. Yerba did not want to get eaten. And when he heard that, was like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no reason to get that serious. Um, we don't need to go there. I'll clean your pico so that you can go to the wedding of your tío Perico. So, Yerba cleans Gallito's pico. And now Gallito is clean and can go to the wedding of his tío Perico. But before he left to get to the wedding, he let out a cockadoodle-doo! Did I get a rooster noise? So that he could give the sun el sol gracias, thank you, for getting this whole chain of events in motion so that he could clean his pico and go to the wedding of his tío Perico. And now you know why every morning when gallos, roosters, see the sunrise, cuando sale el sol, they let out a caca doo doo to thank el sol for helping him clean his pico so he could go to the wedding of his tío, Perico. And that's the Vasi Gallito. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Gracias por mirar me. Y nos vemos pronto. We'll see you guys soon, okay? Take care. Adios. Bye.